Hey Virgo, welcome to the Cosmic Jackal Tarot. I'm your host. Thank you for tuning in and welcome to your Gemini season reading. Happy we're out of Mercury retrograde, aren't we? <laughs> Dude, I've been going through it. But yeah, Virgo, I'm picking up some strong woe is me vibes from you, but not even like, it's not even like you're depressed and sad because ain't nothing going on you're depressed and sad because you're understanding that life is just going to keep going whether or not you have a plan or not well, you know but some of you are just you know you you're ha you have like a a hidden aggression by the way i am shuffling the moonology manifestation deck um but yeah you're going through it you're going through it because you don't you're just tired of doing stuff you want to lay down you want to just throw caution to the wind and take a nap for about five hours and not feel guilty about it some of you have been working too hard and then there's others of you who you're not sure if you're working hard enough or if there's another opportunity because some of you are without work and you're just looking for something to take your mind off of the fact that you can't change your situation right now you want to but right now that you know it, it is what it is so we have new moon and Gemini thinking through. Some of you know what you want to do about your situation. You're just not sure if it's the best idea right now. Like Mercury retrograde has whooped our ass. Some of us, we switched jobs a little bit too soon or it's about time we did. Some of us left relationships later than we really wanted to. And some of us, we still in them, you know, wondering what is it we're trying to hold on to? Why are we trying to make this work? The answer is you're just not happy where you are you know and you're not used to accepting on your own that like because some of you may <clears throat> maybe you've met uh, maybe you've lived with family for a very long time so you've never really had the experience of knowing what it's like to do something on your own maybe unfortunately for some of you like your family has done everything for you and then you know one day they just now they can't or now they don't want to depending so some of you have had a fit of, you know, why is this happening to me? And then others of you, you're like, okay, now's a chance for me to get up and figure out how to do it. Finally, at least I got everybody off my damn back, you know, but there's a, a sadness because you feel like for you, especially this is family, like everybody else is getting the support that they need and the encouragement and, you know, like they're being glorified right in front of you. Whereas with you, it's like, why is this still taking me forever to go on? Virgo, you know what? Sometimes you're a person that doesn't like to accept help, but you also don't like to ask for it. So it's a seesaw effect about how somebody should even bother to approach you. Like when you're wearing the poo-poo face and you kind of complaining and bitching about everything going on around you, it gets to a point where people will start to distance themselves not because they don't love you but it's like they can't help you because they're still in the situation themselves so while they feel bad as selfish as it sounds nobody is obligated to keep having to lift you up if you're gonna keep sinking back down it's like somebody's putting all their effort to pull you out of the sinking sand you right and then you go and ju jump head first right into it and then scream and cry like, oh my God, why is nobody helping me? And it's like, we don't want to go through that again, you know? And then there's others of you, I guess, like you probably overstayed your welcome or you asked a little too, too much. But then there's others of you who don't care either way. Like you, some of you are like, I like camping anyway. Shit, this is, the world is just a big old backyard. I just got to figure out where I'm going to set up my tent and then I'm good, you know, but... I don't need too much of nothing else. I know what the fuck to look for. And there's others of you that are like, what? Like, I can't believe I'm being forced to figure out everything on my own. There comes a time, Virgo, where you have to do it. Even if the way that you're doing it doesn't make sense or you can't really depend on another person to give you advice, sometimes it's just literally the power of manifestation is just focusing on this little orb and just saying to it, you know what? I want, a, I want a nice job, I want a nice house, I want to be with the person I'm meant to be with, I want a decent car, it ain't got to be nothing fancy, just something to get me A to B, and I'll start from there, you know? If this was a D&D &D match, you got you to gotta fill out your stats, but you also got to select the things that matter, 
do you have a chance to do it over yes do you have a chance to gain what you want but don't have currently yes but when you just go head first in the shit or better yet you treat it like it's a chore like oh i can't believe i had to figure out being an adult all by myself oh my god like <laughs> You know, some of you are waking up to the fact that, you know what, but I, I mean, it's not like I don't have support, period. I just can't lean on people to do everything or, you know, be taken out of their day to talk about me all the time or my situation, you know. But if you feel like you're going to be kind of cold and, and disconnected from when people try to connect with you, it would be best... Virgo, at some point, to just admit, hey, I just need some space right now to get my head right. Or, hey, man, it's not you, it's me. Because some people are feeling like you getting shit off your chest and you really, it's not even to do with them. It's just you frustrated and you don't know how to hide it. Cool. But presenting, yo, man, I'm in a situation and I want more out of life, there's a way that you communicate that. And sometimes it's not necessarily with the people around you, it's with the universe. So we're doing the past, present, and future with the Game of Thrones tarot. In the past, you had the Six of Swords. Um, currently, you have the Fool. And then in the future, you have the Three of Swords. So with the Six of Swords, my dog is looking at me. With the Six of Swords, you're starting a new journey or you've already started it and sometimes that journey is just getting to know yourself on a plane that other people aren't used to seeing you sometimes it's hard to be ourselves because we're around other people when you've lived alone or when you start to spend a lot of time alone as scary as it is at first for those of us who've never really done it or never really had to because you know it's like oh well if i'm gonna be you know a person that like gets married and stuff i gotta kind of enforce being around other people if i want a family that's what i have to do or some of you you just always live with other people but now it's like okay you're journeying to figure out who you really are you're some of you might be in your 20s or in your 30s like me like maybe mid 20s to 30s and it's like, it's shocking to wake up one day and understand like, wow, there's things that I don't have to believe in anymore. There's things I can unlearn. There's things that it only worked for the time. I was just in survival mode. I don't have to act, think and feel and behave like that no more. Cool, so now that I'm unwrapping and purging all this stuff that doesn't suit me, well, what is the core of my layers? Who was I before all this influence and all this speculation and judgment? the fool but not a not a silly arrogant fool you're more like a person who can you see the dragon's eye behind him it's a person that decides to gain some courage and whatever will happen will happen it's not like you're throwing caution to the wind all the way but you know that you can't go back you got to keep going forward so even if something does happen well at least you can at least when they tell your story they're gonna say you weren't no bitch <laughs> you know so and there's a lot of people that right now they yeah they're proud of you but they're gonna come to you or they say it behind your back like i could never do what they did i gotta give them depth i gotta give them props they yo they about that life i gotta give it to them but that could never be me <laughs> you know but they mean it in a good way like you inspire people to think outside of the box some of them you know they're very inspired with the fact that you don't give up and i'm hearing somebody cry bruh boohoo somewhere else come on it is not that serious I, all that emotional shit you gotta take it to the dump you're starting a new path some of you have broken a lot of generational curses and probably haven't noticed and a lot of you are balancing out your karma like some of it has been very stagnant but be careful because in the future you do have either somebody coming to stab you in the back or some sort of betrayal like while you're finding yourself maybe your partner is being <laughs> less than trustworthy i don't know but 
that's specific for some of y'all like you're understanding and you're seeing signs of something coming it's sent to hurt you but it's questionable because i get the feeling like whoever this is like maybe they're just saying harsh things they're just saying things to stir you someone it's like someone doesn't want to watch you grow so they're gonna do whatever they can to get under your skin i remember i remember when um you know i was with my ex and anytime anything good would happen to me it's like we would start fighting and then you know he'd say some slick shit to a point where like I started to believe like you know what maybe he's right maybe I'm not that cool and then he'd be talking about how you know do you wonder why I don't fuck with you and then you know you I didn't want to be with you and da, 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 and you know oh well my other ex you know they wouldn't have done this like we would have been happier this that and the third and you know it it got to me and so maybe Virgo you have people around you that act like that like as soon as you get one win or you're just trying to be happy for yourself or you're just trying to make progress or something here comes this person running their mouth saying shit that they know is gonna hurt your feelings make you question yourself but at the end of the day you gotta love yourself enough to understand that they just saying that to they hurting your feelings but they trying to get put through a brick wall so i mean who's a real loser now you are the person who they getting their teeth smashed into a fucking you know into the pavement what you allow is what you allow what you respond to is what you are you are what you advertise and what you respond to so act accordingly and understand that if you know and deep in your heart that you ain't doing nothing to hurt nobody and you ain't trying to yeah so when stuff does go good for you yeah people that are upset nothing's going going good for them maybe at that time they don't even mean what they're saying or how they're projecting shit it's just that they're looking at themselves and there's some jealousy and then they feel bad for being jealous and then they say stuff maybe it's meant to come off as a joke but then it's like well hey, fam ain't nobody laughing at your clown shoes ass no nobody like why would you say that why would you come for me like that what the fuck you know but then you've also gotten to a point where some stuff just don't hurt no more like every time you get a win here comes somebody it's always if it's not this person it's someone else coming up to you trying to snuff you out and you're just looking at them like fam like you don't know what i had to go through to get to where i am what i got who i'm with like so stop saying everything about me as a charity case maybe it's not me maybe it's you because i work to have this I, I was meant to have this or maybe even if you felt like you didn't have to do the work you just got acknowledged and it's like damn finally so you're trying to be happy for yourself and then here comes this person insisting like yeah but what about me what about you nigga what the fuck you know yeah it's like that okay so we're gonna clarify with the disney villains tarot but yeah don't let it get to you you know a lot of times people you're not meant to be with will start acting up right on cue as soon as you get what you're meant to have and all that means is you know what i'm glad you i'm glad you showed me who you are now because when i get to where i need to go my highest abundant self my highest consciousness whoever i am meant to be at that moment you can't come with me you won't sabotage at all so i need to see this you know all right so we have the seven of swords in reverse over the six of swords we have the chariot in reverse over the fool and last we have the king of swords in reverse over the three of swords and, ooh, virgo you got a lot going on so with this seven of swords in reverse over the six of swords you're running away from others perception of you you know like people have been spreading a lot of rumors a lot of lies people have been trying to sabotage your shit since shit since you tumbled out the fucking womb it seems like like somebody's really had it out for you even in the next life i'm hearing like somebody recognized you and they've been trying to just you know put something on you whether it's the evil eye or you know they've been trying to put some sort of spell like maybe you never get money or something like this is something it's the past though that's why i'm like it's probably a past life person or somebody from your past that went to seek out somebody that does uh spiritual attacks on others like you know maybe they cursed your love life or maybe they curse you to where you just never get money or if you do you can never hold on to it like you always seem to attract bad luck you always have people like stealing from you or something like that like they wanted you to feel like nothing is ever true 
and that you're always going to have to run away and start over like they're trying to blind you from where you're progressing to or what you're trying to become now the chariot in reverse over the fool i'm here like this could the fool is aries and then the chariot would be cancer so maybe you got was an aries and then you're cancer x keeps trying to sabotage shit but you got to a point where you yeah like somebody keeps trying to really just tear stuff up for you like the chariot is also blessings and you know doing what's right and doing what like fighting for what you want but you're to a point where you don't feel the need to keep fighting like you, instead of instead of trying to prove something or responding to negative energy you've gotten to a point where you're like i don't need that shit so i'm gonna just keep going on with mine even if I got to move to the next state or better yet, I got to move my state of mind. I'm not letting this come and get me no more. Like I'm over that. That person go to hell or they're in hell. They trying to drag me down by. <laughs> so with this king of swords in reverse over the three of swords, you got a lot of air energy, um, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. But honestly... Maybe it's the same ex I was telling you about or somebody that's in the past. Like, you're you're going to feel a betrayal. This person is probably going to admit that they've, like, they can't stand you. They've been plotting on you or you're going to catch them in the act. But it's going to hurt. Like, I wish I could say it wouldn't. Even if you try to cushion the blow and you're like, oh, well, you know, let me just detach myself and, you know, that way it won't hurt as much. But I get the feeling you you have someone in mind that's doing this to you and then it turns out it's the person you never would have expected like that was your homie that was your ride or die or whatever and they've always been so supportive at least to your face but behind your back like they've really been plotting your downfall like this person is your frenemy they don't care nothing about you in reality like i mean even if something was happening to you they probably help you solve whatever that is just so they can like you're open to the focus of their like you know whatever it is that they're trying to put on you by just playing you know doing some kid shit and trying to give you the measles i mean measles aren't kid shit let me reverse that um i don't know like this person has just been plotting on you so i'd say be careful try to do some cleansing and then you know like go i would say get some counseling you know just open up about some stuff even if even if you think everything might be good like sometimes things are amiss until you just talk to another person Woo. I guess it's that time of the day where I can't sit here because yeah I don't know what that was anyways well that's your reading Virgo it's gonna be all right at some point you just got to accept that a lot of times people just don't have the best interest for others they can only think about what they want and it's not always selfish and wrong to think about yourself sometimes you just have to sometimes it's it's just that simple you'd be a lot happier that way but so long as you are being genuine and authentic and showing gratitude and respect and empathy towards others i mean then you're still a decent human being but don't expect to get it right every time. You're going to make mistakes. And sometimes within those mistakes, you just learn how to be better, how to be stronger. That way, later on, you can't... You get to a point where things just don't hurt as much as they used to, if they hurt at all. Or you get to a point where you just laugh, you know? <laughs> all right, guys. So that's your reading. Thank you for tuning in. I love you guys so much. If this resonated, make sure to like, share, subscribe, follow, and comment down below. Let me know what you liked about the video, what you want to see more of, what you're looking forward to. If it didn't resonate, that is totally okay. Maybe this is meant for another Virgo or somebody with Virgo in their chart. But if you're watching for a Virgo, I don't need to know. That's none of my business. Other than that, I will have in all my links coming soon. But until then, the link tree is down below still for you guys to follow me on social media. Other than that, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next reading. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel always. I love you guys. Bye.